Hi, I'm Stephanie Horn, and this is the Bookkeeping Basics Monday Morning Minute on how to perform a bank reconciliation in QuickBooks, part three. Let's get started. Other discrepancies. When you are done checking off all the items from your bank statement, the ending balance on your QuickBooks file should match the ending balance on the bank statement, and the discrepancies balance in the bottom right corner of the reconciliation window should be zero. If it is not, find a starting point quickly by looking at the lower left of the reconciliation window and comparing the total checks and total deposits cleared with the totals for each on the bank statement. This can help you narrow down where to begin looking. Balancing. Once everything is cleared, the ending balances match and discrepancies are zero, you can prompt QuickBooks to reconcile now. You will note a moment of processing and then receive a congratulations message. You can now choose to print a summary report, a detailed report, or both. It is a good idea to print both and put them with your bank statement. If you do not and you need a copy later, just go to Reports, Banking, Reconciliation Report, then follow the screen prompts. That completes my final segment on how to perform a bank reconciliation in QuickBooks. I'll look forward to seeing you again next week.